guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. And I'm super pumped for today's video because it is what to do when you are bored. And there's lots of times when I get bored when I'm not working and I'm like, wait, what do I do with my free time? So today I'm going to be giving you guys some things that I like to do when I'm bored. So I just sat down and thought of my favorite things to do and I'm gonna be sharing them with you guys. So that way, if you guys wanna do any of these things and like, even if you're not like bored, but you want something to do, these are some great options. So the first one is go for a walk or run. And that's kind of more like, okay, you could go work out. That's what I like to do a lot of times when I'm bored. That's what Josh and I both do. And then also, I think going for a walk is nice sometimes because it just like clears your mind. It like gets you out of the house and you feel a lot better. Okay, the next thing is creating a habit tracker. And basically what a habit tracker is, is every single day, it's like a little chart and you like, it's kind of like a graph. I'll show you guys a picture right here. And basically like you mark off something that you want to do every single day. So you create that habit. Like let's say you want to drink water every single day or you want to drink like eight glasses of water. Every day you do it, you mark that off and then um, you like create those good habits. So you can literally customize it to whatever you want. I love doing this. I just feel like it's very satisfying when you like do what you say you were going to do. I make them all the time and I like customize them to myself. So that's something that I like to do often. Another thing that's really important, especially since the new year's just came is to write down your goals. And I'm a big like goal type of person. Like I feel like when you write down your goals, that's when it happens. So I also like to categorize my goals. So like this year I wrote my 2022 goals. That's weird saying 2022. <laughs> I wrote my goals down. So I did like my fitness goals, my religion goals. I did my personal goals and then like fun goals. So like for example, my fun goals would be like things I want to do this year, like goals that I want to achieve, kind of like a bucket list. And I think that's really good to write down your goals. I also think it's really cool to do your year long goals and then to break it up into monthly goals. And then honestly, even goals for that week is really cool as well. All right, guys, this next one is really, really cool. And it is like painting your own shoes. So if you guys have been here since the beginning of the Katie Betsing channel, you guys know that I love customing DIYs. And I'm actually, my next video is going to be a DIY custom Nike shoes. So I'm gonna do Air Force and I'm gonna customize them and show you guys how I customize them. So if you guys wanna wait for that video, then definitely go buy your pair of shoes and then you guys can do like a follow along with me when I customize mine. I'm gonna make them look so sick. I'm so excited for this video. Like it's just like bringing back all the nostalgic vibes of early Katie Betzig. So I'm super excited about that. But I think like painting your shoes, like if you have an old dirty pair of shoes, you can like paint them and like spice them up a bit. There's a ton of like inspo pics on Pinterest. So I think that's something that could be really fun to do. I know I enjoyed it a lot. I did it all the time. Number five is making jewelry. So I actually bought a whole bunch of stuff on Amazon, like little beads and stuff to make my friends jewelry, kind of like those old throwback bracelets, the ones that like say like letters and stuff. I think that could be really fun and take up a lot of time because it takes so long like beating them. But number six is to make TikToks. I think making TikToks is actually more fun than watching TikToks. You could like learn a new dance. You could like make something funny and then post it and you never know if it'll go viral. And if that's not for you, then that is okay because a different thing you could do is go online shopping. And you might be like, okay, wait, wait, wait. I don't have money to go online shopping and that's fun you can um, online shop, save it to your cart. So that way when you do get money, you can go back to your cart and then you can buy what you had already picked up. So you spend the time like shopping, but you're not actually buying it. And a little life hack, if you guys put things in your cart, a lot of times companies will send you like a, hey, you left these in your cart, here's 10% off. They're like trying to push you to buy it. So they give you money off. So that's just a little life hack that I've learned. Number eight is self tan, okay? Self tanning is like my favorite thing in the world because it makes you feel so much better. It makes me feel better about myself because I, I just like when I feel tanner. Um, I just feel like I'm glowing a little bit more. That's just personally, I like it. And my favorite self tanner is Isle of Paradise. You guys want like a self tanning routine? Maybe I could do that. But I really, really like self tanning because it just like takes a little bit of time and um, I always feel better. I feel like when I'm bored, if I do things like pamper myself, it's always like one of my favorite things. All right guys, the next thing is stretching. And stretching is actually so good. Like you guys could do like a follow along um, YouTube like yoga video or stretching video. You always just feel better and it's really Really healthy and good for you and it takes a little bit of time and no one ever really wants to stretch but if you're bored it's something to do all right number 10 is do your hair and makeup so maybe it's practicing um, how to curl your hair or practicing how to do your hair a different hairstyle I used to do that a lot of times when I was in high school like I'd practice different things just to see if I could get better at it and make my hair look really cool I'd also practice my makeup so I do like different makeup looks and then it actually just helped me get a lot better so you could like do it and then take it off or um, just practice it all right this next one was one of my favorite things I feel like when I was in high school and even I do this a lot of times now is redecorating your room. You don't have to spend money on this one. Like you can, if you want, go get new stuff for your room or you could literally just rearrange, like move your bed a different way and like move stuff in your house and rearrange it. Cause that's always fun too. It makes it feel like new and fresh. And I really like that. The next thing you could do is go sledding, but you can only do that. I can't do that cause I live in Arizona. But if you live somewhere where it's snowing out right now, then you can definitely do that. Cause that's always a lot of fun. The next thing you could do is an adult coloring book. I feel like these are so fun because they just actually are very like calming and 
they're really hard so they're fun because it's like actual like adult coloring and I really enjoy that. Something that always like takes away a lot of time and is really meaningful and fun too is FaceTiming friends. So if you're bored, FaceTime your friend or um, maybe someone that like lives out of state or maybe a relative or someone you haven't talked to in a bit. I always feel like that's a really, really good thing and you never really regret that. Unless they're a mean person, maybe. Maybe you'll regret it, I don't know. Okay, this next thing I actually just did is create a bucket list um, for what you wanna do. It could be in your life or it could be in the year. So I just created one and I have a whole bunch of fun like trips and things that I wanna do on it and things that kind of scare me that I wanna push myself to do. So I feel like creating a bucket list and making it all like colorful and cute is also really, really fun. All right, this next one is Loki. Something that I think is a really good idea is you can create new outfits with the clothes you have. So if you're bored, you go in your closet and you pair things that you've never worn together and you try and create like different outfits with the clothes you already have. So that way you're just like, uh, like already planning your outfit. Also, this is random, but it's a life hack. If you're going on a trip and you're packing, um, try on all your outfits and take pictures of them. So you remember what your outfits that you planned together are that you packed for. I think that's a really, really good tip. All right, guys, this next one is you could bake something. I think it'd be really fun to make a cake, make cookies. It's always good to make like desserts or treats. And a lot of times like your parents might already have that in your house or you have all the ingredients you need. I feel like baking um, could be really creative and really fun. So I really enjoy doing stuff like that. All right, the next one is painting your nails. If you don't get your nails done, then painting your nails can always be really fun. I got really into it one year. I was like so about painting my nails and I just really enjoyed it. And then also another thing you guys could do, like pampering yourself, is you guys could take a whole, oh, is that you can take a bubble bath. Um, I really like using like lush bath bombs and stuff. I feel like it's really relaxing. You like turn off the lights, put some music on. I put this like projector where it like has like the starry night. I just feel like it's very relaxing and it feels really good. All right, the next thing is something that you probably should do if you're bored is go wash your makeup brushes because I know a lot of people forget to wash them or they never have time or it's like the last thing they want to do. But if you're bored, you're getting desperate out here. So maybe go wash your makeup brushes and you can even do that with dish soap. So I'm pretty sure there's a whole bunch of YouTube videos on like how to wash your makeup brushes i'm pretty sure you just use like dish soap and you like keep washing them out it takes a minute but it is so good and it's bad for your skin if you don't wash them so definitely recommend that the next thing is to go for a bike ride like i said with the walk is it's nice to get out of the house going for a bike ride is always fun even if it's just 10 minutes i feel like sometimes when you're bored it's because you've just been sitting in the one spot for too long so if you get up and go do something it's always better than sitting and thinking like i'm so bored i'm so bored and that almost makes you more bored so Get out of the house. <laughs> the next thing would be to make a tie-dye shirt or like tie-dye clothing. I think tie-dye is really fun if you have a tie-dye kit. Or you could even do like a bleach tie-dye where you don't even have to go get a kit. There's a lot of like YouTube videos on how to tie-dye and stuff like that. And it's super easy and so fun. So I definitely would try that out. The next thing you can do if you have a pet, and I know I spent so much of my time doing this with Topper, is you could teach your dog or I don't know, can cats do tricks? You can teach your pet how to do a trick, like train them. And I think that's always really fun. Also, my one friend taught her dog like all the tricks in Spanish, which I thought was really cool. So maybe if your dog already knows the tricks, teach them it in Spanish too. Show off to your friends. Okay, the next one is organize your laptop or your phone or like tablet. If it's your laptop, you could like delete all the pictures you have and just like really organize and categorize your um, screen. And then the one with your apps is you can like organize your apps and you could even like just clean up your phone a little bit, like get rid of apps you don't need, get rid of the subscriptions you don't need. You could like change the background of your phone and try and make it all like a cohesive like vision, like, kind of like all the same colors. I think that would be really cool. All right, the next one is to plan your next vacation. So let's say like you've always wanted to go somewhere. You pick the spot, look at like flights, look at hotels you want to stay at, look at like things you want to do. So even if you don't get the flights or don't book the vacation, you have an idea of like things you want to do. You basically like schedule an itinerary for your vacation. And then that way, when you're ready to like actually send it and go on the vacation, you can um, just like pay for it and you're ready to go. You don't have to like sit there and think about it and you have it all planned. So like when Josh and I went to Thailand, I literally like sat down. I was like Googling all these things, like what to do, like all the best things to do, the best restaurants. So that way, when we went there, we had like the best trip. The next one is to do an at-home workout or um actually it's like a dance workout. I know there's this one girl who does a ton of like dance workout videos. I think those would be really fun if you're not like super into working out. If you guys want easy workouts, we also have JD Fit workouts for you guys. A lot of them are like five, 10 minutes. We also have like 30 minute workouts and a lot of them are like body weight at home. So those are always like really fun ones. I like doing like the five minute ab workout because like if you just feel like hitting abs really quick, it's five minutes and it's a burner. So if you guys want to check those out, it's at jdfit.com. Not jdfit.com. That's where you can get our fitness though. It's at um, jdfit on YouTube. All right, this next one, it's not really my personal favorite 
favorite, but maybe you guys would like it, and that is to read a book. I really don't like reading. I wish I did, but I don't. So it could be read a book. I mean, that one's kind of like basic, but I thought I'd throw that in there. The next one is really fun and time consuming is making dinner. So it could be like for you, it could be for your family. You could invite people over for dinner and make like a really fancy dinner, just follow like a recipe on Pinterest or something. But I know that like making dinner sometimes, especially if it's like a fancy one, can take a lot of time and it, it can be fun too. And I'm pretty sure I already did 30, but I'm gonna add one more for you guys. Something that I always like to do when I'm bored is I like to reorganize my closet. So I go through and I like purge all the stuff that I don't wear anymore. And my like rule of thumb is like, if I haven't worn it in a year, I've gone through all the seasons with it and I haven't worn it, I'm never wearing it again. Cause like if I, if it's in my closet, it's just sitting there, it's like not having any purpose and I'd rather it serve someone else's purpose. So a lot of times I'll give my clothes to like the neighborhood girls or I'll like donate them or I just give them to like family friends that have um, younger girls that would fit into my clothes. So I just get rid of them and it's kind of nice when you get rid of things that you don't use cause then you have more space and it just looks cleaner, nicer. You can now buy more clothes cause you have more space in your closet. So that is one thing I love to do. And you just feel like a lot better once you have like less stuff that you don't use. But anyway guys, that is all the things that I have for what to do when you're bored. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was like helpful to you guys. And if you guys have any other questions, comment them down below. And guys, the next video I'm so excited for, we are gonna be customizing Nike Air Forces and they're gonna be so sick. So if you guys wanna do a follow along video with that, make sure you guys either take your old Air Forces or go buy Air Forces. And then if you are brave enough, you can custom them with me. Yeah, I'm super excited about it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.